Hey friends, welcome back and hello to you new people too. I'm Courtney. Today I'm going to be bringing you a demo swatch comparison and review on the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. I have the shade Light One. I purchased this at Ulta. This is not a sponsored video. I've been using this product for probably just a little bit over a month. A little background on me for those of you who don't know me. I don't use filters on my camera. I don't use like blur lenses or anything like that. So what you see is my real skin. You can see my imperfections. I have um, redness from rosacea. I have cerberic dermatitis that's around like the sides of my nose, here in my eyebrows, and I get it in my scalp. I have texture on my skin, like right here um, from acne scarring. I have an acne breakout right here, which is a hormonal breakout for my period, um, down here too. Let's see, what else do I have? I've got hyperpigmentation around here that drives me crazy. And I have large pores around like my nose, the sides of my nose. So those are like my skin issues. Oh, and fine lines under my eyes because I just turned 40. So yeah, anyway, you can see all of the flaws with my skin. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. So you will see exactly how this works on my skin. And because I've been asked, I'm not currently on the Nude Sticks PR list. I don't know why. As you can probably tell, my skin color is extremely fair. Good foundation matches for me are the Eden Minerals Nordic Veil Foundation in the shade Yorun, which is J-O-R-U-N-N. I spell this every time because people are like, you're saying urine. No, I'm not. It's not English. I also find Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the shade Milkshake to be a good match. Um, I really like Cover FX N0 as a good match and I can also wear Kat Von D Light 41 as a color match. The, for the formula is horrible for my skin. I, I seem to do best in foundations that are true neutral or neutral to cool yellow because apparently I'm a cool yellow skin. Most foundations go too pink or too orange for me. If I had a MAC equivalent number, it would probably be N0 because the cover effects numbering system was made by the same person as the MAC numbering system. So fun fact. Oh, also my skin used to be extremely dry. Now it's just more dry with a slightly combo T-zone. So that makes uh, my foundation issues different than what they were a couple years ago, which before I was just dry, 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 dry. <laughs> so when it comes to foundation, I personally like light to light medium coverage foundation. I don't like full coverage. I feel like it's too heavy on me. It looks too cakey. Um, also because I have such fair skin, it's very difficult for me to find a good shade match so the more full coverage you are for me the worse because it doesn't usually match seamlessly with my skin so let's talk about the nude sticks nudies tinted blur stick i'm going to just read you the claims from the company nude stick says this is an innovative soft focus and light reflecting mineral stick that creates flawless looking skin by smoothing and blurring the appearance of texture blemishes discolorations lines and pores with an overall effect of a soft matte glow that is never flat or blah it, it's available in 10 shades with shade adjusting pigments that blend with your real skin tone um, coming through to naturally tint your skin, so 40 shades and a PhD are not required to find your match. So basically, Nude Sticks claims that your skin will look look and feel better. It's you, but better. It's a light, a natural tint that blurs to smooth texture and even skin tone. A lightweight cream to powder, soft matte finish for all skin types. It's environmentally friendly. It's vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, paraben free, and oil free. They also have a note on the Nude Sticks website that if you have oily skin, that you should apply a mattifying powder on top of this to take down the shine. Now I've worn this with primer, without primer, with setting spray, without setting spray, and I really like it just about any way that I wear it. So I'm gonna show you how I prefer to apply this foundation. First, I like to take the Milk Makeup Blur Stick and basically just fill this in right by my nose and the sides of my nose, and right here. I feel like these are my problem areas for pores and also for a little bit of oil control. Then I like to spray the Smashbox So Chill Coconut Primer Water all over my face. What I did yesterday with this foundation was use Eden Minerals Nordic Veil Foundation in the shade Yorin just under my eyes where I need more coverage. Today I'm actually going to try the Cover FX N0 under my eyes for more coverage because that's really the only area on my face, aside from when I have breakouts, that I really think needs additional help. So you can absolutely apply the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick with your fingers. You can just basically streak it, on, streak it on and blend it out, but I don't like doing that. So what I'm going to do is 
put it on like this and then blend it out with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Blurring Brush because this is how I prefer to apply it. And depending on my mood, I sometimes kind of leave this area blank because I'm either going to add blush or I want my natural flush to come through. Oh, and I should point out, I only have on eyeliner today, like makeup wise, I don't have anything else on because I'm gonna go get my nails done and I'm probably gonna get my brows tinted and I might get my lashes tinted, I'm not really sure. Okay, so I have the foundation on this side of my face, this side is bare. I'm going to get uncomfortably close You would never be this close to me unless we were about to kiss. I really like how it has like a sheen like natural skin. So I put the foundation on the rest of my face. This is what one thin layer looks like. I am going to set under my eyes. I'm going to use the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Porcelain to set under my eyes just because I use that cream foundation from Cover FX and I feel like that's a product that will not set without some powder. But this is the only place I'm setting my foundation. Now, sometimes I go back and do like a second layer on my chin and my nose or on my cheeks if my cheeks are really red. Today, my cheeks are not very red, so I'm not gonna do that. I am going to put on a little bit of blush and highlighter and then I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. For my blush, I used the Balm's Balm Beach. I used the Cat Shark highlighter from Black Moon Cosmetics. And my lips are Too Faced Melted Metallic. Just that this is the Metal Transformer, I just put this on top of my naked lips because that's really all I wanted today. Now, as I mentioned, I did set the foundation under my eyes with some powder, and I did use a different like concealer type product today than I did use yesterday, so I'm already seeing a little bit of creasing, but that's on me for using the Cover FX Total Cover Cream as concealer to basically hide like the dark spots under here that bother me, the darkness under my eyes. Anyway, I am gonna zoom in again so you can see what this product looks like on my skin close up one more time. And remember, this is just one layer of the Tinted Blur Stick. You can put on multiple layers if you want. And you would never, ever, ever be this close to me because this is like really in my personal space. I feel like it does a really good job of blurring my imperfections. My hyperpigmentation is minimized but not completely gone. My acne breakout is, you know, minimized, not completely gone. Even a little bit of the redness on my chin is kind of po poking through. Um, you can see a little bit of cake right here, but that is my cerebroic dermatitis. I feel like it basically softens and blurs the skin in just such a beautiful way. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and insert swatches for you so you can see how this compares to other foundations. So for the top row from left to right, we have Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in two, Cover FX Total Cover Cream in N0, Flower Beauty Illuminating Foundation in Porcelain L1. Oh my God, is this, is this orange? <laughs> Illuminaire Moisturizing Mineral Foundation in Alabaster. Too Faced, Sweet Be Too Faced Sweet Peach Foundation in Swan, Huda Beauty Milkshake, Nude Sticks Light 1, the foundation I'm reviewing, and Eden Minerals Nordic Veil vale, and Yoran. The bottom row from left to right is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. This is not cruelty free. Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in LC1. And again, oh my God, look at how freaking peach this looks. Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in F1. BH Cosmetics Foundation in 201 Ivory. Buxom Show Some Skin in Tickle the Ivory. The Ordinary Serum Foundation in 1 and S. This one like didn't swatch very well on my skin. It was very runny and just kind of like bled all over the place. So when I was trying to clean it up, it just seems to remove a lot of it. Kat Von D Locket Foundation in Light 41 Neutral. And ColourPop Foundation in Fair 5. So for me, 
the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick does live up to its claims. It blurs imperfections, it evens out my skin tone, it minimizes my redness, it basically minimizes acne, texture, pores, everything I want it to do. It's the perfect amount of coverage for me. If you look like here, you can, you may or may not be able to see, I can see in the viewfinder that this looks slightly too pink toned for my face, but I feel like overall this looks pretty seamless when you look at my face going down to my neck to my chest. When I'm looking at you straight on, I feel like it looks pretty seamless. My friend Mickey did say that this shade is, in his opinion, slightly too pink for my skin tone, but again, it looks good in a lot of lighting situations, just not every situation. So I'm a little bit like sad that it's slightly too pink. I wish it was more neutral or cool yellow in tone. The reason I think it's able to work so well is because it's such a light coverage product. If it was more coverage, it would be way more obvious that it's too pink. So the reason it works is because of my skin color that's coming through. I love that this is so easy to use. Basically, I just toss this into my tiny little purse makeup bag and go. I basically put this in with the foundation brush and whatever lipstick I'm gonna be wearing for the day, and then that's it. It's so, so easy. I love how it looks on me. Like I mentioned, I've been wearing it for about a month, pretty much every day for the past month. Um, when I was at the hospital with my grandmother, I wore it some, but even on the days I didn't wear it, I took it with me just because if I felt like if I needed to touch up or put any makeup on, I could, um, cause I didn't know what the day was going to bring when I was at it, with my grandmother in the hospital. I didn't know if I needed to go out places or talk to people or anything like that. So I was happy to have it with me and it was just super quick and easy to put on. Okay, so now that you know what I love about it, let me tell you what I don't like about it. The number one thing that I don't like about this product is the amount of product that you get for the price. This is 0.216 ounces of product for $30. A typical foundation is one ounce. So this is like one fifth the size of a typical foundation. And so it's expensive. To me, it is insanely expensive for the price. Like I really hate that. I feel like they should make it, you know, an ounce or half an ounce of product because it's just, it's too expensive for the price for the amount of product that you get. The number two thing I don't like is the shade range. It only comes in 10 shades. While yes, the 10 shades that they have are very adaptable, this is still slightly too pink for me. If this was more neutral toned or yellow toned, it would be perfect. So I wish that there were more shades in this foundation range. Even with 10 shades, I still feel like they need a little more. Either they needed to pick all neutral tones so that they aren't pulling, you know, pink or anything. I don't know. Anyway. Number one, number one complaint is the, the amount of product you get for the price. Number two complaint is the shade range. So overall, I love this foundation. I will repurchase this foundation. I am going to email Nude Sticks and ask them if they will consider expanding the shade range. And I hope other people choose to do that too because I do feel like just the 10 shades isn't sufficient. Like I love what they're saying about how you don't need a PhD in 40 shades to find your perfect match, but this still isn't my perfect match. It's close, but it's not perfect. Anyway, regardless of that, I will repurchase because this has basically become my go-to foundation because it's so easy to use. It's the perfect amount of coverage. I don't have to like cut it with anything to make the coverage right. And it's really light. It's nice for summer. Um, it's great for when I've traveled because, you know, it was easy to put on the plane. It was easy when I was in the hospital. Like basically it's great in most other aspects. So who is this for? This is for somebody who likes light coverage foundation. If you like full coverage foundation, you're going to hate this. If you are looking for something that, you know, is adjustable and easy to put on and will probably last through your work day or be easy to touch up if you have to touch up, this is it. Because basically when this wears off, it wears off in such a way that it's not even really easy for me to tell that it's off. I can only usually tell like it's off my nose because I get red on my nose from my rosacea. So then I'll just go back and put it on. But it's so easy when once you apply it to, like once you like reapply to touch up, you just, it's seamless. It just the formula is so good on this, it just blends together. So I love it. So if you like, if you uh, love your full coverage foundation, don't buy this. If you like lighter coverage foundation like I do, give this a try. Um, I don't know how well the shades work for the medium and deeper skin tones. I can just tell you how light one works for me. If you're somebody who's extremely fair complected and you have a slight pink tone or a slight cool tone, this will probably work for you. It'll probably work really well. Anyways, what do you think of the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos. It makes my day and it really helps me out. So thank you very much. And if you haven't already, click on that little subscribe button down below and I'll see you in my next video.